Good morning, Janelle. Good morning, Jessica. It's good to see you. Is this where the Microsoft user group's going to be? Wow, it is. There's a lot of folks here. Way more people RSVP'd. I, I hope we brought enough beer and pizza for everyone. I, that's later. I guess it's a little bit early for yeah, that. It is a little yeah. bit early for yeah. that. So not your father's Microsoft. No, no, it's not your father's Microsoft. <laughs> uh, you know how much I love PowerPoint. I know. I brought plenty. Um, so not your father's Microsoft. No, it is. It is not. Um, this is, but my parents. This is my parents' Microsoft, definitely. I mean, look at those epic beards, those great glasses. That's fantastic. Uh, that's not a beard, Janelle, though. That's an enterprise-grade soul patch. Oh, don't get me started on the licensing with that, though. Gosh. <laughs> Uh, Janelle, I brought a copy of the org chart. I'm hoping you could walk me through this, because I'm still pretty new to Microsoft. I, I don't know how you organize your email, but this is, this is wrong. I don't know where you got this. We are totally one Microsoft now. One, one, like as in we're all working on the same goals? We totally are. Fantastic. All right. Well, do you have a confession? Oh, I do. It's a secret. Secret. Don't tell anyone. I don't always use IE. <laughs> I don't. Um, but the thing that I do use a lot of <laughs> is Azure. I love Azure. Azure is amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I do use a lot of Azure. Um, you know. But Renting other people's computers again, Janelle? I totally am. You know, the thing is, is I've gotten so lazy about hardware these days. You know, it's much easier to use the infrastructure Microsoft built. You know, 19 different regions around the world. It travels more than I do, that's for sure. That's a lot of data centers. It totally is. One of the things I love about Azure, Janelle, is how Satya Nadella has really come out and said, we're going to make Linux a first-class citizen in Azure. They totally have. 21% yeah. of the workloads running on Azure right now are Linux, that's which funny. is totally cool. It means that you don't have to use Microsoft for the full stack anymore. You can really BYOD. Like, bring your own disaster? I was actually thinking more like device or, you know, set of tools. We're actually even giving away Raspberry Pis at the booth. Awesome. I think we can run like Windows 10 or Nano Server on those. Mm, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, speaking of tools, Janelle, very cool how we can bring your own choice of configuration management tools. These all layer on top of desired state configuration and just really help you roll your own. That's really cool because, you know, we even support Docker now. I hear containers, they're all the rage. Docker is so hot right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. So, Janelle, I think what we're really saying is automate all the things, right? Definitely. Automate and collaborate. Automate, collaborate. That sounds like DevOps. It does. We should actually talk a little bit about DevOps. I think Market even, even brought us a hashtag. That is beautiful. Thank you, marketing. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But you know, Dev, it's about you know, Dev and Ops working together. Collaborating, right? And solving for some of these old school monolithic systems like legacy stuff everywhere. I know, exactly. And it really, it's about, you know, devs really understanding ops and ops really, you know, understanding how devs work. You really, <laughs> you really, you know, need to see that empathy going on there. You need empathy. that to happen. Yeah. Good. Well, I'm glad you talked about this culture of collaboration, right? Because for a minute there, I thought you were going to, like, make me log into SharePoint where we can all be sad together. Hey, hey, don't, don't make me sad. You know, SharePoint, it's, it's underutilized. It's misunderstood. <laughs> if you want to talk about sadness, let's talk about the fact that, you know, isn't Microsoft just a tad late to DevOps? A little bit, a little, little bit. bit. You know, that said, Janelle, we've been changing rapidly. In the last few years, we have really adopted lean and agile methodologies. We're taking in fast feedback from customers customers and partners, and we've even open source.net. You know, that's really cool, but, you know, we're Microsoft evangelists, so all these people, they expect us to say good things about Microsoft, right? But what are other people saying? The best part for me, log into Twitter any day of the week and see all of these awesome folks in the industry really sharing how they feel about the changes we're making. This is just fantastic to see. No, I it, it's very fantastic, but the thing is, there's really only one metric that really matters with DevOps. Bring in the glitter. Glitter. Bring it. Bring in the bring glitter. glitter. Got to bring the glitter. Sprinkle that on top of uh, whatever exactly, little project you exactly. have, right? You know, exactly. But the thing is, you know, we actually don't have a lot of time no. to talk about glitter today or even DevOps at the moment. So I really think that we need to have another user group meeting. Fantastic. When do you want to get together again? Uh, um, how about 5 o'clock? 5 o'clock sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's meet in Ballroom F at mm -hmm. 5 p.m. Uh, Sam from Microsoft is going to take us through our four-year DevOps journey to becoming a software-as-a-service provider and uh, sharing all those great lessons we've learned. I hope we've learned a little bit more than just how to throw some glitter on some things. I certainly hope so, too. The other thing is that there will actually be beer at There's 5 p.m. There's going to be beer? Yeah. That's totally cool. Fantastic. So, Love I, to see you there. I will look for you there and hopefully look for some of these fine people it. there as well. 5 p.m., Ballroom F. All right. <laughs> see you there. Thank, Thank you. you.